Mike Freya was targeted by the killer, yes, the killer of David Amos, who moved from killing Mike Freer, but eventually did go and kill David Amos. His office in um, unconfirmed circumstances was burnt down around Christmas this year, and he has been repeatedly targeted by groups who want to do him harm. He's made a difficult decision, and that's to leave Parliament and leave public life. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that is an attack by society on British democracy. Whether you agree with me, whether you think Jake Berry and the Tories are any good or not, I'm sure you would accept that I have the right to do my job. Stella, I think this is really worrying for democracy here in the UK. Um, Mike, step back. I support him in that. I go back to that question. How many times would you have to be threatened with someone killing you for you to decide it was time to go and do something else? It is very worrying because we are taking for granted how good we have it here in terms of mm. democracy, and it's not something that we should take for granted. And it is obviously horrible. We've, we've had MPs who have been actually killed, so I completely understand his decision. I would hope that it wouldn't come to this. I would hope that the police would be doing something about this, and I do think it is very important that we have general elections coming up. A lot of new people will be thinking, a lot of bright, young people will be mm. thinking, should I enter politics? And when they're looking at this situation and they're thinking, maybe my family life is going to be in danger, then they will be thinking again. And this is very, very bad for us. And I think, I think that it's really uh, uh, Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer, they should both do something to make yeah, sure that candidates in both of these parties feel safe enough And it's not, And it's not actually... I mean, many of the debates we have here on Talk TV, but in Parliament, they're about left or right or, mm. you know, political parties. But this crosses the political divide, mm. because, of course, let's not forget of the appalling murder of Joe Cox, who was a Labour MP. Just to put a bit of context on it, Matthew, Mike had been going to work in his constituency, recommended by the police, wearing a stab I mean, vest under his shirt. It, it, it's, it's just unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, I think um, whatever your political views, uh, there is absolutely no excuse for intimidation. And that's what this is. It's intimidation. It's intimidating the democratic process. Remember, Mike's office that was burnt down is not there to serve Mike. It's there to serve his constituents, yeah. however they voted. It's a public service. The documents in there will be documents relating to people's housing problems, their immigration problems, you know, their, their, their problems with getting their kids into the right school and support uh, 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 for elderly parents. You know, this is what it's about. And look, Stella and I have both worked for MPs. You're an MP, Jake. Um, I, I, it's also a question of safety of staff, mostly young people who work in politics. Um, uh, they're there because they believe in a, in a better world, um, whatever colour uh, rosette they wear when they go campaigning. And yet, you know, in, in the age of social media as well, it's incredibly hard working for them because somebody not only starts abusing your boss and you're meant to intervene, uh, but they start filming it. But, I mean, ultimately, your boss... You know, your boss, your MP, if you work for an MP, he volunteers for this job. The people who work in the offices, they're just office workers yes. who have a passion for politics Absolutely. and helping people. And we remember there was the terrible case, um, it was about 20 years ago, of the Lib Dem uh, 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 MP for Cheltenham, and his assistant was killed um, trying to save his boss, um, uh, 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 you know, and lost his life. So, I mean, I think we need we need to calm down this debate and we need the police to step in. But we, the other thing is in Britain, we don't want, because we have constituencies, we have that great relationship between an area and the people of that area and an MP, you need to get, you need to get the balance right. But, you know, I, I just think it's, it's so, so depressing. And both, you should say, Stella, both parties, just need to step up, yeah. as does the, and, and the speaker and the, and, and the police. And I, I just think, by the way, one of the things I love doing the most in my constituency work, a member of parliament for Rosendale and Darwin, are things I call meet your MP or yeah. supermarket advice yeah, yeah. where I go and stand in a supermarket and people come and talk to me. Yeah. The idea that that would be taken away from me by some warped ideology that wants to kill our members of parliament and force me to step down from my job, I just think is appalling. I might be sacked by the voters of Rosendale and Darwin at the next general election, fingers crossed. I hope they remain so sensible and vote for me. They might sack me, but I shouldn't be forced out of my job by some vile ideology. And Stella, yeah. doesn't this really talk... We were talking before the break about whether Britain is lawless. And I go back to those protests we saw on the streets about Gaza with people walking down the streets shouting, you know, jihad in Britain from the river to the sea. This, you know... And it's not just that, and, and the Tommy Robinson far-right protest at the armistice. I'm not picking on one ideology. It's this sort of very aggressive society that we seem to live in now, where people think it's acceptable to uh, target people in this way. Surely that can't be I right. don't think it's true that, uh, that, that societies are getting more aggressive in, in the UK. It I don't think that's true. I think we need to be very careful about making... a. a, a, a 
differentiating between uh, legitimate democratic protest, even if it is on issues that are controversial, even if it is on issues that we disagree with. As you said, they're, they're both very, uh, they're both pro Gaza. Is it, is it ever legitimate for people to walk through the streets of London chanting in favour of genocide? No, absolutely not. This well, that's what they're saying when a, they're driven to the sea. It's a, it's a hate crime to call for... No, that's not what from the river to the sea means. It means something different to different people. I'm sorry, this is the case. From the river to the sea means something different from one person to the other. I, I completely agree that calling for genocide is, is, a, is a hate crime. These people should be prosecuted. However, I think it is important that, that we differentiate between legitimate pro protest and between people who are actually being aggressive. I do think that I do think the society feels a lot more divided. I think social media has something to play to play with that because you log into Twitter and you think that everyone just hates each other. But if you are actually, as, as they say on the internet, if you just go and step grass or touch grass, is it touch grass? Yes, touch grass. If you go outside and you you just come 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 in contact with real people, you see that most people are not hate, hateful. Most people do not have extreme views. Mm. Most people are not mm. racist. I think the attacks on MPs have been driven by, by creating social media content. Because in the old days, you used to go and shout at your MP who heard just the MP. Now, somebody's filming it and it goes viral and it endorses your cause. And I think that's one of the big, big problems. But the, what we've seen with MPs of all parties on Gaza, Rushnar Ali, a mm. Labour MP in East London, mm. has come under particular threat as a Muslim MP uh, for members of the Muslim community. It's unacceptable. Yeah, but this... Right. this this is this, this, this is what has happened to Britain. We live in a country where, you know, people are being targeted. Since I entered Parliament, two of my colleagues have been murdered.